In recent years, I have heard many a Disney theory. Some of them include Anna, Elsa, and Rapunzel all being related, where Rapunzel is their cousin. Uh, Anna and Elsa's parents' boat being found by Ariel in the ocean, and Hercules and Ariel being cousins. These two specifically have facts and evidence to back them, with, in regards to Hercules and Ariel, Hercules being the son of Zeus, and Zeus is the brother of Poseidon, Poseidon being Triton's dad, Triton being Ariel's dad. Hercules and Ariel are second cousins. I personally can believe that. I think that makes sense, especially if you look at Greek mythology. I have also heard that Belle and Jane Porter are distantly related. When I first heard this, I thought that was absolutely ridiculous because Belle is French, Jane is English, and I didn't know of two groups of people that despised each other more. I did research. I have facts and evidence about why these two people are not related. Beauty and the Beast is set in early 1480s. This has been widely agreed upon when Victor Hugo wrote it around the French Revolution era. Now, the French Revolution started in 1789 and ended in 1799. In January of 1793, King Louis XVI was convicted of treason and executed. In October of the same year, his wife Marie Antoinette was also executed. In August 1795, so two years later, there was a legislator that was signed and agreed that the power would fall into the hands of what was known as a five-member directory. Four years later, November of 1799, Napoleon staged a coup that took the power away from the directory and anointed himself as consul, and this started the Napoleonic era, thus bringing the French Revolution to a close. I also want to bring up Queen Victoria in this timeline. In Tarzan, Archimedes Q. Porter and Jane both mention her by name, that she's a queen, and that she's nice. For someone to build up a good reputation takes a bit of time. For someone in power to build a good reputation takes a lot more time, especially back then when all you had was word of mouth and letters and first-person contact. So for Jane and Archimedes to mention that she's a nice person, this means she's in power for a few years, at least a few years. Her coronation was in 1838. This is 40 years after the French Revolution. So after the French monarchy came to a close, Queen Victoria comes to power. Part of the evidence that surrounds this theory is that Jane and Belle both wear a yellow dress and they both have brown hair. Jane and Adam both have blue eyes. I have heard less convincing evidence in a murder trial. The Porters have in their possession Mrs. Potts and Chip, or at least the tea set. Now, anyone who isn't looking too carefully can just say, that's an Easter egg, that's kind of funny, to someone who's obsessed with creating an entire conspiracy theory, that's a family heirloom. This is not a family heirloom. Here's why they have Mrs. Potts and Chip. I want to focus on Archimedes. Archimedes is eclectic. He is also, we know this, we also know he is financially well off and a creature of comfort. We have evidence of this in the trashing the camp scene, because in this scene, in the entire song, in fact, anytime you ever see their campsite, you notice they have brought a grandfather clock, a couch, a bunch of dressers, a phonograph, all their fine china, all their fine silver, a long table, 
and what looks like to be the entire contents of their house. They have also brought things of practical use, like their science beakers and their science textbooks. Among their textbooks and literature, they have a number of light reading material, or stories if you will. We also know this because Jane is teaching Tarzan how to speak English using C. Jane Run. That's not a science textbook. That's just a, that's just a book to teach your children how to read and speak English. So why would they have Mrs. Potts and Chip in their collection? Here is my theory that Archimedes, a well-off professor who has eclectic tastes, who's to say he wouldn't have gone to an auction where they managed to obtain French monarchy things from the palace, from their own personal collections. Queen Victoria's coronation was only 40 years after the revolution, and Archimedes is at least 50 years old it's because he has gray hair and male, male pattern baldness. And for him to achieve a reputation to be labeled as a professor, he would have had to have been around for a long time, where again, it was all word of mouth, letters, and first person contact. And those are the only ways to get to know someone. He has in his collection, Mrs. Potts and Chip, because he went to an auction and purchased them with his money that he has lots of and brought it to Africa because he's a creature of comfort. The only reason Belle and Jane both wear a yellow dress is by pure coincidence. 